a pretty messed up ego. And I'm gonna be honest, hearing that people are doing better than me in life, it kind of motivates me. But tell you a quick story of how this relates to what this millionaire has told me and how it has completely changed my life. Now I'm telling you, if you're 16 to 27, after watching this video, I guarantee that this video will completely change your perspective on a lot of things that's going on with me in life. So let's get into the story. There was a moment, right? I'm working at Amazon and I'm completely hating a job, working as an Amazon warehouse associate. So I'm looking to get a sales job because for the bootcamp I'm in, I was gonna be learning a software that helps sales teams. So my plan was get a sales job and network with people that are using sales and then try to get my position up where I'll be using that software as an administrator for that software. And so I'm applying to a whole bunch of sales jobs. I'm getting denied, not getting jobs, going to Indie, LinkedIn, whatever the case may be. And finally, this one company has said, Hey, we uh we we uh like your your resume. Want to get you for interview? So I'm gonna go into the second round. Over cool, asking me questions. Now you know within job interviews they ask you questions like, what you enjoy, what you like. I'm like, yeah, I just enjoy using this CRM. Yeah, it's a system. Like, yeah, I just enjoy using the CRM. They're like, no, no, like seriously, like what you like to do? You like go out, you go. Down. I'm like, no, no, I just read books. <laughs> just trying to catch you, say some shit. I'm like, nah, but I'm not falling for that, brother. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. You know, I stay in the crib. I watch books. I read books. I'm a nerd. Like I don't go. I don't go nowhere. I'm like, I don't. I don't have no life. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so I finally go to the third interview, and when I'm doing on this third interview. I do research. I look at this guy on LinkedIn. I see some of the things within uh, his LinkedIn because I like to tailor my questions. Because obviously in job interviews, you you, you want to ask questions at the end. So I like to tailor some of my questions specifically for them. And one of the questions that I asked him, what was the book that provided him the biggest ROI within his life? Now, I'm going to give you a little brief overview of who he is. He uh, worked in sales and then he joined this marketing company and um, he literally joined it at the base level and literally in like two years within the pandemic, he came from the most entry level at that company. He became the president. Now the president of companies, that means you're making a good lot of money. You're around the CEO. And you know, he he, uh, he told me about a little bit about his finances, you know, buying a Range Rover, buying a Tesla, uh, Tesla uh, Elon Musk being his favorite, not someone he looks up to, someone that he really likes, uh, buying his mother a car, buying his mother a house, putting his mother and, and, and sister on payroll. So, you know what I'm saying? Doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. And so I asked him, what was the book that gave him the biggest ROI? And he said this book called Seven Layers Deep. And I forgot who it was made by. And basically what Seven Layers Deep is, is when you're doing a form of introspection, is where you are asking yourself questions to get deeper down. So Seven Layers Deep is where you say something and you say, why is that important? 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 Is that important? And that is able to allow you to get deep down into your true motivation. So what does that mean, right? So if you say something like going to work, right? Or let's say, um, let's say going to work, okay? Going to work, okay? Why is that important? to get money, why is that important? To pay bills, why is that important? So I can have security and not stress about bills. Okay, why is that important? Because, you know, not stressing, it means peace and peace means I can be a little bit happy. Okay, why is that important? Because I only live one life. Okay, why is that important? You know what I'm saying? It's going deeply down to find your real true motivations. And this is why I tell people like, you're not really motivated to go to school. You shouldn't be motivated to go to school or go to work or go to any of these places. That's not your real motivation. There, There's no benefit from just going there. The true benefit is the why, the why, the why, and why going deep. So instead of saying, I'm going to work, I'm going to work to have money to invest into my music career. I'm going to school so I get the degree, so I get the job, so I get the job to get the money, so I get the money, so I got the financial freedom, so I got the financial freedom, so I'm not stressed about life. It's going really, really deep and down into your motivations, right? So that was one thing that he's told me within that uh, interview. And I'll be honest, after doing that interview, I felt motivated. There's something very interesting about my ego is that hearing people doing better than me in life, it motivates me. I, I don't know what it is. Now, I don't, I don't have envy, right? Envy is like, oh, this person have this. I deserve that. Why do you, should, like, I'm not like that. Like, I, I love seeing people win, but I'm a very competitive man. And hearing that someone is like doing this, I'm like, should I can do that too? Like, it, it motivates me, you know what I'm saying? It gets me up a little bit, right? But there's a lot of other things that I've learned from multiple other millionaires. And I have, you know, like I said in my last video, I asked you, how do you know your ABCs? And you answer that because someone told you. 
this, right? Someone told you your ABCs. So therefore, I'm gonna teach you how to get a little bit far in life. Because the only reason why you are this far in life is because you've only been taught how to be this far, right? All right, so the next thing is when it comes to your offer and sales. Now, niching down is what allow you to be able to offer a higher ticket. Now, I just said some nerdy shit and we're gonna break that down. So niching down, right? So let's say you make a book about helping people in sales. Okay, it's a book about people helping in sales. Like there's a lot of people, right? But then you, you niche down a little bit, you say, this book is to help people uh, in sales in the tech industry. Okay, you're niching a little bit down. Now people that are in the tech industry, they're like, okay, this guy's talking about the specific problems that I have. And then when you niche down a little bit more, helping B2B sales representatives in the tech industry. I'm like, ooh, so someone that's in the B2B sales, they're like, bro, this guy's talking specifically to me. Like, to speci like specifically to me. And then you can get even deeper. You get even deeper. Helping uh, a book about helping black men be successful in bdb sales in the tech a black man's gonna be like this this guy is talking exactly to me this thing is solves exactly my problems i thought i want to pay whatever right so niching now is gonna allow you to increase your offer because your target audience feel like you solve exactly their problems right and that's how it is in sales if you sell to everyone you sell to nobody and that was the problem that i had when it comes to youtube when it comes to a lot of things in my life and it comes to a lot of people a lot of consumers they try to sell to everyone they try to be the person that sells to this target audience that target audience sells to everyone and um that's not how you make a lot of money now would you rather sell uh uh uh, uh five hundred dollars to ten people or sell um ten dollars to like a whole bunch of people i'd rather sell i'd rather sell more money for less people because then i can give them better results and that's the next thing that i've learned with this millionaire told me and he's actually had a 50 million dollar sale within he once he exited into his company he told me that there's a difference between urgency and scarcity that people get it wrong scarcity is based off a quantity urgency is based off a time and if you could create an offer where it is very urgent and very scarce you will make people go literally crazy for your product or service that you have so how can i actually explain this to you okay so let's say you do this let's say on your landing page basically you're like your website where you get clients and you say we're only bringing in 50 people right just by you saying we're only bringing in 50 people or we're only bringing in 50 applicants where they well, let's say you're selling like a course you're selling like a a, a a high ticket mentorship we're only bringing in 50 people so now there is scarcity there is a limited quantity for your course for your product for your service for your offer you're only bringing in 50 people so now be like oh shit, 50 people god damn okay okay but, but that doesn't make them go fast enough, right? That, that, that doesn't get their animalistic uh, mindset to just turn on. They're just like, okay, 50 people, okay, whatever. But then if you say, we're only bringing in 50 people and this cohort is gonna end in about two weeks. Now there's an urgency. They only have two weeks to make the decision. And being able to build an offer, uh, whether it comes to your high ticket program, whether it comes to your course, whether it comes to a boot camp that you're that you're providing, whatever that you're providing, when it comes to a product or service. Now, when it comes to e-commerce, like you're doing like a clothing brand, it's you don't have to do like the urgency scarcity type of thing. You don't really have to do this, but this is more for like a service, high ticket program, or if you're in sales, you build out scarcity by saying you're only bringing in a limited amount of people or you have a limited amount of quantity or you have a limited amount of available spots and you bring out urgency by giving it a, a due date or deadline of where someone can apply where someone can come in and it kind of builds that urgency and that's how you honestly you know saying that's how you get people to, to buy within sales a lot of people are very impulsive buyers but now nah, man these are all the things that i've learn from talking and having this conversation with this billionaire uh if you don't know i am my name is vidan i can like my many women that wants to get busy busy financially especially if you want to do that i get this skip kind job but ooh, i'm tired i need to go to sleep <laughs> i get this table coming to your boy use it while the kids you're pre-wired can't take it hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'm out